Just look at this customer's bemused reaction. The crazy video took place here at Bagel Boss in Bayshore, Long Island. <laughs> Man, I know people have the Napoleon complex, but got to be more careful. This guy, woo! Anytime I have issues that need a woman's perspective, I go to my team, which starts with my wife and all the women that surround me that are 35 plus and get their opinion before I give my man explaining. So let's jump into it. But first, on this channel, we got to put on the plus sevens of sexy as hell. Work on giving you guys a life gain in any situation. Please subscribe to this channel. Turn on notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. The best way to view my channel is just go through my homepage playlist. There's something for everybody. So honey, this guy goes into a bagel shop. He's five foot on the dot, five foot inches tall. They say the average man above 20 years old is five foot nine. You know, I'm right, I'm right there at about five nine. You know what I'm saying? What? <laughs> You were like five, eight, five. Uh, do, okay. do I need to go on a tirade? No, no, okay, good. okay, okay. So let's see what happens with him when he walks into a bagel shop a lady's attending to his services, gets his order wrong, and he goes into a tirade that has absolutely nothing to do with anything on that D knowledge. Let's take a look. The customer just loses it because he says women reject him over his size. Why is it okay for women to say, oh, you're five feet on dating sites? You should be dead. That's okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> he go on that tirade and get his butt beat. <laughs> Honey, what's going on with this guy? Who has hurt his little Napoleon Bonaparte heart? Sound like everybody. Oh, I'm, I feel like I hurt him too somehow. Yeah, you hurt That's him. That's a mess. You, you called him short? I must have. You ain't give him no panty draw because he five foot? <laughs> no. <laughs> Look, folks, he's got some deep insecurities. Now, mind you, it, our society sets, this sets all these different connotations. So one connotation that a lot of women grew up hearing is, I want a man who's tall, dark, and handsome, right? And maybe that's the only women he's came across. Me growing up, I was the complete polar opposite. I was short, fat, and black. But you know what? I found a way to build confidence in myself, and I ain't even gonna lie to you. Biggie helped me when he hit this rap line. Yep, that sure enough helped me out. I dress good, I smell good, I took good baths, I made sure my breath didn't stink, and I ain't have no problems pulling no damn women. I mean, most of the women I was pulling was taller than me. And I still knew how to give them the big O, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> So, so what do you think about his situation? What can he do to improve upon his insecurity issues? I don't know where to start with that. I mean... Well, well, first, he came back and did another video with TMZ. Let's take a look at that one, then we'll finish this video off. Let me ask you, based on some of the other videos, I just want to ask you point blank to your face, are you misogynistic? Oh, what does that mean? Like, 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 like egotistical? No, like, um, just, if you feel a certain way, you feel negatively about women. I won't lie, uh, most of them, yeah, because I don't trust any of them. Is that because of experiences you've of had course. in your life? Yes, okay. that's a given, my man. Let me just ask, are you homophobic? I, gays don't bother me, I can hang out with them, just like, don't touch me, especially in the private parts. Okay. And I don't have a problem. <laughs> Lastly, are, would you consider yourself racist? No, I have black friends. Okay. Yeah. Now, if somebody, you know, upsets me and he happens to be black or steals from me, then yeah, I mean, that word comes out of my mouth, I'm not going to lie. Are, are but, you... but my one the guy that was supposed to come back... Uh, actually, that might be his girl. I don't know, but he's black. He hangs out with me. I know a lot of people mm -hmm. in this town. Are you? Are you? Are so let me ask you: What is your ideal woman? What is the type of woman you're actually looking for? You mean looks and everything? However well, you want. The whole thing. The whole package. What is your Educated, ideal woman? Not a, not a, not a, 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 a greedy bimbo. Somebody that works, appreciates a man's money, wants to be there and love each other for each other and you're not oh you know well, what are you doing for me it shouldn't be based on the barter system it should be based on pure love if you're attracted to someone and you like their company you have good chemistry you have similar interests yeah you should want to have intercourse with a person because you like the person none of this shit and I, and I said it in the video stop putting a price tag on everything that's what everything's becoming and it's disgusting they asked him is he a misogynist as hell he didn't even know the definition he goes on further to talk about what he wants from a woman, blah, blah, blah. Honey, tell us from a woman's perspective, 
what, what can we do to fix this type of thing going on in society? Other than he's got to find some confidence. I mean, I mean, just looking at how he's acting. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that his height isn't the main thing that's chasing people off. Oh, that's a good point. I mean, okay. he's coming off very brass. He mm -hmm. has an attitude. It, it doesn't seem like it's pleasant to interact with that. So you said there's more issues other than more just the than height. More than that, and he's blaming it on his height. Right. It is not his height, at least looking at that. If you're being triggered by somebody getting your, some random person getting your order wrong in a bagel shop, and you jump on this whole other topic of I'm short and the I can't get it, that has nothing to do with getting bagels at a bagel shop. That man went in there for a tuna and rice sandwich. So if you get triggered that fast. It got triggered. <laughs> Can you imagine what it's like interacting with him <laughs> it, it's setting up a date or do you want to go on a date with me? What, what, oh my goodness, can you, you imagine the rejection if somebody do, in his face tell him, no, I do, don't want to go out with you? Do, do you think he's got deeper insecurities about something in his pants too? I am, I, have, I don't even want to go there. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, man, I'm not, hey, I'm five foot eight. And like I said, I still been able to please I don't, women. I don't, yeah. So it sounds like there is more going on with him than just the height insecurity. Because I know tons of dudes who's pulling bad women that's five foot four and under. So it's not, it's not, it's not the height. Granted, he probably got burnt a lot in the past, but right. now his ego, his temper, all of that supersedes everything else that's going on. Right, right. And if any, if I can, oh, I can. I'm, I feel sorry for the woman who he asks out face to face, do you want to go out with me? And she says, no, can you, have, that's the reaction that she's Ooh. going to get. Ooh, Lord have mercy. So bottom line, let's life gain this one out. My life gain on this, ladies and gentlemen, you cannot change the way you was built unless you plan on getting some, some, some form of plastic surgery. And with height, there ain't no plastic surgery for that. And you cannot change things that God put with you the way you are. The only thing you can do is work to be your best person. If you're overweight, lose weight. If you got bad breath, go see a dentist, brush your teeth. You can only change what you can control. You can't control your height. Let it go. Build confidence in it. And I think if you have a good personality and people enjoy, and you're probably going to come left from this, but um, if people enjoy talking to you, a lot of times you can overlook some things. True, true. And so if he was really a great guy, some people might be able to overlook that. Right. And, and um, still kind of build a relationship with him. Because nobody's perfect. Nobody is perfect. No, not even not tall all. people are perfect. No. So... It's the personality. But, you know, you, you hit on a good point when you talk about sometimes your expectation of what you can pull ain't what your ass can really pull. So he was complaining about these women chasing him for money or these women gold diggers, all that kind of stuff. Is that all he's trying to holler behind? Who knows? You know, may, maybe you need to go for a little Susie Orman in the bookshop. <laughs> you know, lower your standards, brother. He said he didn't want any greedy bimbos. Any greedy bimbos, any greedy bimbos oh, yeah. Goodness. So, yeah, yeah. So, apparently so. he's running after the greedy bimbos. Yeah, he's trying to go Hollywood. Yeah. And his ass can barely get on a roller coaster at that height. You got to bring them expectations down, brother, because n nobody is perfect. The, the sooner we understand nobody's perfect, you're going to have to find some things that you can live with and what you can live without, but most importantly, find what you need from a spouse will do better. And I think this is an opportunity for him. So he can easily kind of use this to maybe, there's somebody for everybody. You have the dating website. There's have, more than somebody for black everybody. Black people meet. You have yeah. the Christian date website. You have the Trump, Plenty date, of fish. Trump date website. Yep. So he can build a, a dating dating site for short men. Or you can put out an ad, or ad on Craigslist and say, oh. you know, for women who are looking for short men. Oh, you want <laughs> him, so, you, you're trying to say this is an entrepreneurial yeah, opportunity yeah, for him. He can, go, money. he can make yeah. him a website, exactly. get paid. Yeah. Hey. Dating site for men, short men. Hey man, I get, can I get up there to go and test it to show people what's going on once he does his website? Go for it. Go for it. What's going to happen? Just what? keep on going. Oh, look, on. that's going to do it for this video, man. <laughs> Don't forget to like my video, comment, let me know what you think about this situation, subscribe, and until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.